When Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir warned school leaders their districts would fail if masks are not required this fall, Alvin Garrison took note. Bashir's sobering statement, plus guidance from the CDC, means Covington Independent students will have to wear face coverings when classes begin in three weeks. All of those entities uh, recommend that indoors we mask up, so that's what we decided to do, an abundance of caution. Garrison made the decision even though neighboring districts, like Kenton County, have said masks will be recommended but not required. I think it's a, it's a no-win situation for the most part. In some cases, superintendents decided not to require masks in class before the Delta variant of COVID-19 started impacting greater Cincinnati. The fact health experts are now back on the mask bandwagon is a lot to process for parents like Garen Parker. I just got to the point where I wore a mask for so long, I got comfortable with it, which was okay, um, and then I got vaccinated. I don't have to wear a mask anymore, and now I'm starting to hear that we have to wear a mask again. When it comes to the school his daughters attend, Parker is confident the right call will be made. I'm going to back whatever the school system decides to do. I'm not going to fight it. I don't think my kids are going to fight it. If districts do embrace masks again, the impact could mean fewer days missed, even if a student tests positive. In a school environment in Ohio, if two students are masked and one student gets sick with COVID, the other student doesn't have to quarantine, which is a great asset to help keep kids in school. Now, since classes throughout the region start in just a matter of weeks now, more districts are revealing their mask policies. Hamilton City Schools saying today masks are optional, but strongly recommended. Board members in Oak Hills, meanwhile, they're expected to discuss that district's mask policy during a board meeting tonight. Reporting live, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5. So, Todd, you're there at the headquarters for Cincinnati Public Schools. What else can you tell us about the mass policy for athletes and their families? Because I'm sure there are so many questions out there. Yeah, it's a big issue. Obviously, we know for several thousand young people. And as you mentioned, Cherie, CPS officials say that student athletes will need to wear a mask when they're not playing in a game and being active. They'll also be asked to stay as socially distanced as possible. Also bring their own water bottles to games and also to practice. Spectators are going to be allowed, but they'll be asked to wear a mask as well at CPS sporting events, at least for the time being. Cherie. All right, Todd Dykes reporting live for us tonight covering the controversial debate over the masks as it continues. Todd, thanks so much. And